Hello fellow problem solvers. So they're going to be doing a problem from the Bosnia Herzegovina IMO Team Selection Test 2011 problem number five. I suggest you try this problem out for a minimum of 10 minutes, ideally 45 to an hour, not more than two hours. If you'd like to go along with us, give it a go for the next 10 minutes. And now without further ado, let's begin. So what do we have here? Whoa, we have the cube root. What are we going to do with that? Some ABC positive real numbers, their sum is one. We need to prove this. Okay, 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 okay. So what is the first thing that you notice? Let's just write A plus B plus C is equal to one. A, B, C are positive real numbers. And this is the inequality. So what do you notice here? Well, first thing is like, what is this thing in the cube root, right? What is this? So one way that we can just like see what, it, what this is, is by plugging in, okay, one is equal to a plus b plus c. So this is a cube root of a plus b plus c. The c cancels out, we'll get 2b plus a. And then similarly with b, cube root of, what are we getting? 2c plus b. Then c, cube root of 2a plus c, needs to be less than or equal to one. Yeah. That's what this is. All of these things are positive. Now, how are we going to estimate this side less than or equal to one? And this is where inequalities can give you hints, sort of what you have here is you have a root, a cube root. And with that little focus that I've just shifted for you, I invite you to pause I mean, solve either this or this, whichever one is more natural to you, whichever one feels nicer to you. But try to solve it for the next 10 to 15 minutes. Put, your, put a couple of ideas. What would you do? So first thing, can we just like make this homogenous and everything? Uh, we could try. The trouble is if I now, I would have to make this A plus B plus C to, because this is of the form, what is this? This is c 3 over 3 c 4 over 3 so i need to make this a plus b plus c to the fourth under the cube root to make it sort of of the same power and then i'd need to actually really legitimately i need to cube this and that's just not something i want to do right it's eh. i'd rather avoid it like is it possible to finish it if we do that, maybe, likely, yeah, ish, kind of, perhaps, I'm not sure. To be very frank with you, I'm not sure. But it's a computation that you have to sort of like figure out how long would it take. It would take, I need to take this to the power of three, so that is going to give me uh, three terms. I need to give me something disgusting because the cube roots, when I multiply this and this, I'll have, I'll just have a lot of, I won't have anything nice. This times this isn't nice. So it seems it's difficult and it's questionable whether or not it would succeed, right? It seems very messy and it would take you at least an hour. Let's not do that, right? Let's try to come up with creative ideas and in competitions, you want to kind of come up with creative ideas. And then if I'm out of time, if nothing works, then I see, okay, let me just, you know, and I've given up really on trying to solve this problem. Then it's like, let's jug, 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 and try to finish this for an hour. Like, let's, right, just, you know, brute force it. But let's not do that at the beginning. So the cube root gives you a hint of, hey, this is less than this, so maybe AM, GM, maybe this is a GM. Like maybe this is the G of the AM, GM. But then what, the, what is the A? What are the other two terms? What, what is this going to be equal to? And we now notice equality is when we have A is equal to B is equal to C is equal to one over three, then this is a third times one, a third times one, a third times one, we're done. And it doesn't look like it holds for anything else, anything nice, like one zero zero doesn't seem, actually one zero zero, does that also hold true? So if we have one, say zero zero, yeah, then it also holds true. So it holds true for one zero zero and for one over three, one over three, one over three. 
but yeah, interesting, interesting. I didn't. Oh, they're positive real numbers, so not for one zero zero, but it's interesting that it holds there as well. Hmm. Okay, but in all those cases, if we have a one zero zero, this isn't so nice, though. This isn't so nice when we have that. We have a zero here, one plus zero plus one. This is more interesting than I thought. So, but the cube root, what is a way for us to estimate what's on this side, right? And the idea is, well, we can take the thing in the cube root and multiply it by one three times, well, twice. And then we have here on the other side, let's multiply this by a immediately, then this is a over three times one plus one plus one plus b minus c. So this is three plus b minus c, which gives us a plus a b minus a c over three. And when we get this, we see, huh, we're done. And why are we done? Because now analogously we'll get b plus, what is this going to be? c minus a times b, so we'll get cb minus ba over 3, and we'll get c plus ca, we got a plus ca, ca minus cb, over three. And then when we sum these up, we'll get a plus b plus c, which is equal to one. And so we're done. Now, the equality between these two holds true either when a is zero or when b is equal to c. And that, and this holds for like every single one of these, we must either have a is equal to zero Though the problem doesn't ask us when does the equality hold true. So we don't need generally to say to them equality holds true in this case. No, it's you know, always a safer bet to just say it. Like, oh, equality holds true here. Right. Given these are positive reals, a cannot be zero. So a is equal to b is equal to c. But say they were non-negative real numbers. Say this was a different problem. Because I just got a lot of interest for this problem just seeing this. And or b is equal to c. So now if say some two aren't equal, say if b isn't equal to c, that implies that a is equal to zero. Now either c isn't equal to a or b isn't equal to a. And then we have if b isn't equal to a, then it follows that c is zero which gives us b is equal to one. If c isn't equal to a, then it follows that b must be zero from the same sort of like similar thing that we would have here and from there it follows that c is equal to one and so we get the equalities either for zero zero one or for one third one third one third that's actually very very cool this problem just got a new meaning for me uh, but this finishes it up i want to show this inequality to you because of this cube root when you see it try to add the hidden ones and then estimate it it might just solve your problem. And it's important also to keep in mind the inequality, when the equality case holds true. Though here that might actually like lead us on the wrong path. Maybe not, maybe, maybe not. And this finishes up the problem. And as always, thanks for problem solving.